Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share the latest word given to Ali Winters. The title is If, and this word was posted May 24th, 2020. Help us, O Lord, to acknowledge our part in the destruction of America. Help us, Lord, to confess our disinterest, our complacency, our rebellion against our God. Help us to come before you, our righteous and holy God, crying out as did Daniel, Alas, O Lord, the great and awesome God, who keeps his covenant in loving kindness for those who love him and keep his commandments. We have sinned, committed iniquity, acted wickedly and rebelled, even turning aside from your commandments and ordinances. Righteousness belongs to you, O Lord, but to us, open shame. To our kings, our princes, our politicians, our preachers, the American people, because we have sinned against you. To the Lord our God belong compassion and forgiveness, even though we have rebelled against him and have not obeyed the voice of our God. For the Lord our God is righteous in everything he does, yet we have not obeyed him. Therefore, the Lord has kept the calamity in store and brought it on us. For the Lord our God is righteous with respect to all his deeds, which he has done, but we have not obeyed his voice. As did King David, be gracious to me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the greatness of your compassion. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you and you only I have sinned, and done what is evil in your sight so that you are justified when you speak, and blameless when you judge. We do not make these requests of you because we are righteous, but because of your great mercy. Lord, listen. Lord, forgive. Lord, hear and act for your name's sake. My God, do not delay. It is too late. I do not know. Have we gone too far leaning on our own understanding while ignoring God? I do not know. Will our God yet one more time heal this broken land? I believe he will, if. If I, says the Lord, shut up the heavens so that there is no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence, plague, disease, infection, virus among my people, and my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Any time we move in fear, we lose freedom. Fear enslaves those that fear. Irrational behavior comes as a result of fear. Regardless of how dark the day, remember, I am the light of the world. Walk with me in the light. Climb higher. See more clearly. Know that I am in control. Fear not. Prayers of the saints are powerful, conceived in anguish, yet fully covered in the glory of God to accomplish his purpose. Will we pray crying out to God for his protection against this onslaught of evil, or continue to wring our hands, shaking our heads, blaming others for the consequences we face as a result of our own demented choices? The Lord would say, A scattering of the sheep is coming. Millions have lost their way. Depending on self, they crumble. 
My heart rejoices for those who will return, yet grieves for those who have lost their way. He will, if we will. Will you? Will I? Will we? Will we redeem the time in these evil days? And that is the end of this message. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. And I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.